so hello everyone so welcome back and resume our last lab so in our last lab we have seen that if you have first name and last name and if you want to display the full name you are using this concatenate function with a space and you get your desired result and I also told you in my previous video that uh, you will get one complex example or real life example and you have to solve using concatenate function okay so this is the scenario let's say this is the real life scenario where a student may have first name middle name and last name and here you have to display the full name in a proper manner okay so you see some names are not having middle name some names are not having last name like this isn't it so to solve this type of problem we have to not only we have to use the concatenate function we have to recall the if function also this if why you see here here in this case after the first name we have to use this space isn't it similarly here if I take this example after this first name I don't have middle name so I cannot use space here okay and when I use this uh, or when I use this last name or when I take this last name before it I need a space similarly in this case after this middle name I don't need any space because after this uh, value we don't have any text here so how to solve it you see here I can simply write concat I have to select the first cell and put a comma then write a if condition as you know that the first name is present everywhere so that's why I'm not writing any if statement but for middle name we have some somewhere we have and somewhere we don't have so for that we have to write a condition here that is if this middle name is equal to null or nothing that means if this cell doesn't have any text okay it should not display anything or if it has it should display with a space that means concatenate space comma this d3 d2 and close then close the if condition similarly for if for this third cell if this cell is blank then it should not display anything else concatenate space comma this third cell and close this if and close the final concatenate and you close it you see now when I take it down you will see the result is coming so see if you get this type of scenario you have to write inside a concatenate function you have to write many if condition then in the if condition itself you have a concatenate function and so this is a bit complex uh, function I have given to you so just uh, review this video again and again and if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section so try to practice it and if you have any doubt please notify me so thank you very much